Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So just recently, a fight broke out in Alabama along the river side that has now been dubbed the Alabama Riverboat Brawl. Now, there were some people, if you will, that tried to get on the internet, on the news, and make this seem like something it was not. The actual victims of this fight, of what happened, tried to make them seem like they were just hooligans throwing hands for no reason. Now, this all started when a group of individuals, which has already been put out there, we've already seen all of the videos. It was a group of white people. I guess they were a family, a group of friends. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. This group of people, these privileged individuals, if you will, parked their pontoon in a docking area allegedly they were told beforehand that they were not supposed to do that it was considered illegally parked and as i mentioned before it was blocking the people who were on the actual river boats who were trying to get off you know by getting to the docking area it was preventing them from being able to do that now the black guy who came down there and untied their boat because it was illegally parked in that docking area was literally just doing his job Okay, these people got angry with him because he was doing his job. Then they tried to confront him. It was honestly giving privilege and entitlement. There was a whole video. So nobody can lie and say it, he did X, Y, Z. Somebody took a whole video from the actual riverboat because I think those people were just tired of waiting and they were ready to be able to get off. But again, they couldn't because these people's platoon was blocking the way and they were recording the entire ordeal. He never once put his hands on those people. Okay, like I said, he just came down there to do his job. It's kind of like when you're on a college campus, and I would know because I went to college, and they tell you, do not chain up your bike that you ride around on campus with next to some random pole in front of one of the buildings. Chain it up on the actual bike rails, and you basically don't listen, and you chain it up where you want to, and as a result, the campus police come, and they break your chain, and they take your bike, and then you have the audacity to get mad just because the campus police was just doing their jobs after you broke the law. That's basically what happened in this situation. Low key, it seemed like these people were on some, I can park my junk wherever I want to and you're not about to tell me what to do. I don't care who you are because they felt like they were above him for all the obvious reasons and you can't convince me otherwise. They felt like they were above the law and that the law didn't apply to them, but this man still came down to do his job and they completely disrespected him. If you watch the video, then you'll know they were the ones who threw hands first, so to speak. And then he was just trying to defend himself after they assaulted him. But he didn't have to defend himself for very long. Those brothers came out of the woodwork. And I think those were his other crew men, so to speak, his, you know, co-workers. Those brothers came out of the woodwork. People have been making jokes about that all since it happened. Talking about some Avengers Assemble, Brothers Assemble. Like I said, they really came out of the framework to defend their brother for real and it was good it was nice like I don't promote you know violence or fighting but one thing I wouldn't want is for a group of people to gang up on somebody after they're just doing what they're supposed to do like you know that's not how this works y'all decided to do something crazy after y'all broke the law and he was trying to hold y'all accountable without even making it an altercation and then y'all try to jump him because essentially they were going to try and jump him but then those other guys joined the brawl or joined the fight and made it a brawl and had his back which was really cool if you ask me and a lot of people were congratulating the young man the 16 year old who jumped in the water and swam over to help him to help defend him along with the others you don't see that happening every day it's really good that like i said they stood up for him they came to you know back him up it's unfortunate that not everybody gets that kind of support or you don't see that happening every day but i'm just glad it happened this time you know, during this situation. Like I said, it was unfortunate that people tried to spin the story to make him look like some hoodlum that was just beating up white people because he was angry and violent, you know, because he's black or whatever. But this is why it is important to make sure you have all the facts before you put stuff out there. Now, admittedly, with this particular situation, it wasn't even about waiting until people had the facts right before putting them out there. It was really more about Certain people, like I said, wanting to spin the story or just paint this black man and just black people in general in a negative light and then do other things like what I saw on the internet just recently where somebody brought up a completely different situation that had absolutely nothing to do with this where some black person did something wrong to try and, you know, I guess, I don't know, justify what these people did 
or draw attention away from it or make it seem like, well, you black people aren't always good anyways, which is really disgusting. Now, they did allegedly, if I'm not mistaken, arrest some of the people that was responsible and those they were not able to. They put out warrants for their arrest, which is good, which was needed. Allegedly, the fight was so crazy, all kinds of stuff was happening. People was getting pushed into the river. Some woman took a whole foldable chair to the face. Now, do I feel any kind of way about it? I absolutely don't. And you should neither because, first of all, why did she choose to involve herself in a whole brawl full of grown men to begin with? Allegedly, I heard somewhere where the man lost his job, and if he did, that's really jacked up and screwed up, although not surprising because, like I've said before in a previous video, I'm sure, these workplaces, these little institutions, employment centers, if you will, they only care about themselves. They're very raggedy, and they do not be looking out for their people a lot of times. Like I said, that was allegedly. I don't know for sure if that happened. And I'm still trying to understand how you pull up on somebody for doing their job and try to jump them, but then get jumped and lose the fight all on camera at the same time. But they learned three very valuable lessons that everybody else who likes to act like them should take away as well. If you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. If you run up, you get done up. And if you mess around, you will find out. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think and how y'all feel down in the comments below respectfully. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all have a blessed and safe day. Keep your hands to yourself now.